Jay Stunnel here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Texas State Shell. You've heard of the Lightning Whelk. This is a nice size Lightning Whelk that I found. Um, you know, no snail inside of it. It, it is a gastropod. Uh, some uh, very, very interesting. The, the other interesting thing is, and you might have seen this on the beach before, but uh, this is the egg casing. And this is, this is a one that looks like it's been broken off. Usually what you'll see is you'll have one big end and then you'll have one small end. And the small end is where it actually starts and it's connected into the ground or on a hard uh, substrate. And then it sort of uh, floats around like this until the little bitty snails that are inside of each one of these little uh, pods here uh, gets old enough and then drills a hole and then pops out and goes on its merry way. Uh, so this one I found, it's all dried up. Uh, a lot of people think uh, that it looks like a snake skin uh, or like a snake body, because uh, it does. You know, it's got, uh, you know, this long string that all these little pods are connected to. Now, I have found these before that are like four foot long. And um, each one of these little pods has, uh, can have up to a hundred little bitty snails in it that look just like the adult, but little bitty. And so you can imagine if one is like four foot long, that's like 10,000 eggs or something like that in just one strand. Uh, so, you know, the, these are very important. Um, I have found them before that are real fresh. You can tell they had just been detached. Uh, they have like a gel inside. And if you open up one of these packets, you'll see like this um, uh, slimy, clear gel that comes out with the little snails in it. Uh, very interesting. So, so if I find, find that, I usually throw it back in in the hopes that, you know, most likely it would just wash back up uh, because it's, it has already lost its uh, attachment with the ground uh, and it needs to stay in the water. Otherwise, it gets pushed up, you know, up on the beach and then it dries out and then, you know, whatever's in there dies. Um, but luckily for this one, it looks like most of the snails have gotten out. There's actually a, a little hole in the very top ridge here and that's where the once the snails get to a certain stage they're able to uh, drill out of there and then uh, get out and go grow up so that they can turn out and be an adult um, some other interesting things besides just the egg casing uh, which is very cool um, is that uh, you might be interested in wondering what these things eat and so the lightning whelk uh, has, they, they feed on uh, other snails uh, and clams and they have something that's like a drill uh, so that they can get through the hard shell. It's called a radula. And so that allows them to drill into you know, whatever they're eating and then um, suck out the, the meat. Um, and then like with clams, if they're eating clams, they can actually use this edge here to pop open the clam and uh, then be able to eat the meat that way. Uh, so, now you know, um, you know, the lightning whelk and the mysterious uh, snake is actually their egg casing. And so next time you see this, tell your friends. All right, that's it for this episode. We'll talk to you later. Bye.